I have not come alone. If I hang, there are others. The eternal light goes back to the tomb from which you stole it. But I tell you, I have not got it. Please, I am not a child. I... I sold it. To whom did you sell it? To Professor Morland. That robber of the dead. Has he sold it? He did not buy it to sell. What then? Like you, Mamu. She believes. Believes? He believes that the eternal light will open for him the gates of paradise? Even so. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You're watching PNT. I'm your host, welcoming you to another episode of PNT's Hidden UFO History, our ongoing series where we dig deep into the Project Blue Book archive, hoping to shed light on a remarkable series of events that occurred from the late 1940s through the latter half of the 1950s. While most of us are familiar with the Roswell crash of July of 1947, the actual modern wave of UFO encounters began much earlier, with reports collected from World War II pilots who witnessed small craft they dubbed Foo Fighters performing maneuvers impossible for the propeller-driven craft of the day. Seen by both Axis and Allied pilots, the mysterious craft were but the harbinger of the events to come. Reports were sporadic at first, but with the development and eventual use of the atomic bomb and the beginning of the Cold War, encounters across the globe began to intensify, eventually reaching a peak with the 1952 flyover of Washington, D.C. After extensive searching of archived Project Blue Book reports, piecing together often jumbled and incomplete reports, PNT has centered on and reconstructed the events of 17 of the most compelling sightings worldwide, piecing together from once hidden documents the opening act of a series of visitations that would cause the U.S. military to clamp down the tight lid of denial and disinformation that continues even now. While the complete accounts of each of the 17 incidents are remarkable, Due to the sheer number of them, we'll only be providing a brief summary of each incident with an accompanying recreation of the sighting. While PNT has endeavored to visually portray the accounts as accurately as possible, these recreations are based at times on fragmentary reports with incomplete information. As the records do not record the exact dates of the sightings, PNT has arranged the reports by the state in which they occurred in alphabetical order, rather than chronologically. We encourage our viewers to examine the original reports for themselves, and to sound off in the comments section below with any of the events covered today that you would like PNT to go more in depth with in the future. Now, as with any story, it's best at the beginning to set the stage properly, and for our purposes today, that stage is June of 1947. World War II is finally over and the American economy is experiencing an unparalleled period of growth. The American dream begins to take shape, offering a lifestyle of ease and comfort, but only to the privileged. Racial segregation and discrimination are still the rule of the land, and despite the accomplishments of icons such as baseball legend Jackie Robinson and world heavyweight boxer Joe Lewis, the shiny new communities like Levittown, Pennsylvania still screen their homeowner applications carefully and with prejudice. The use of World War II rationing was finally coming to an end, with ration coupons disappearing and sugar once again appearing in kitchens. Pan Am becomes the first worldwide passenger airline, and the Army Air Force successfully tests the F-80, the first aircraft to exceed 600 miles per hour. In movie theaters, audiences laughed along with Bing Crosby and Bob Hope as they followed The Road to Rio. Ted Weems and his hit Heartache dominates the airwaves, and families swelter in the midst of a worldwide heat wave 
and people across the globe begin seeing strange things in the skies. Montgomery, Alabama. An object brighter than the stars is witnessed moving eastward at variable speeds, zigzagging and changing course to the south before vanishing from view. Lake Mead, Arizona. Families are attempting to beat the scorching summer heat in the waters of Lake Mead when they spy six circular shaped objects moving towards the south in a tight formation. Williams Air Force Base, Mesa, Arizona. An anonymous military observer spies two round objects moving straight down at a very high rate of speed before suddenly seeming to vanish right at ground level. Bakersfield, California. Ten saucer-shaped craft are seen flying in a V formation towards the east, and later that evening, another sighting of seven craft in the same formation in the same direction. Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. A civilian pilot with over 30 years of experience sights a jar-shaped craft moving north at approximately 1,200 miles per hour. Weiser, Idaho. Two silver craft are seen moving at high speeds in an up-and-down motion towards the southeast, leaving vapor trails in their wake. Unidentified City, Illinois. Seven disks are sighted moving overhead by the populace. Panicked accounts of the multi-witness sighting are broadcast on the local news. Clarion and Des Moines, Iowa. Thirteen white saucer-shaped objects are spotted in the skies between the two cities, moving northwest in a straight line at approximately 1,200 feet altitude. Greenfield, Massachusetts. A round silver object is seen hovering over the city. Las Cruces, New Mexico. Witnesses spy a disc-shaped craft moving slowly towards the east before it vanishes into nothing in front of their eyes. Hamburg, New York. A small crate-shaped rainbow-colored craft is reported moving slowly towards the north. Portland, Oregon. Six round objects, 30 feet in diameter with a tail, are witnessed moving towards the southeast in a random fashion. Witnesses are startled to note that their compasses are interfered with, spinning wildly about as the craft moved overhead. Seattle, Washington. Three round, silver-colored objects move at a slow speed at about 3,000 foot altitude. Spokane, Washington. Large silver disks flying slower than a traditional aircraft are seen moving at 7,000 feet above the area. Mount Rainier, Washington. In what is probably one of the most famous UFO incidents and the event that gifted us with the term flying saucer, pilot Kenneth Arnold sees nine craft moving west at a high rate of speed. He states later that the craft flew as though they were skipping on water. Rockfield, Wisconsin. Eight saucer-shaped objects moving west at a high rate of speed fly directly over the home of a very startled local farmer. Soon, the entirety of America was reporting sightings, but the UFOs weren't only interested in the United States. Scattered reports began to appear from across the globe, including a case in Budapest, Hungary, where silver, sphere-shaped craft were seen moving across the city skies throughout the month of June. But what are we to make of these reports? Do we take them at face value? The United States government certainly did. But what were they so interested in, and why? We'll attempt to shed some light on these answers when we return. But first, a word from our sponsor. New Good Luck Margarine gives you both preferred unsaturates and preferred flavor. Preferred unsaturates for those concerned about the family diet, plus delicious flavor your whole family will prefer. Preferred unsaturates and preferred flavor. New Good Luck Margarine gives you both at no extra cost. 17 reports drawn from the Project Blue Book case files. 17 accounts out of hundreds reported that month 
and each merely a preview of the events that were to shake the residents of Portland, Oregon, and most of the United States of America during the following months. From the July 4th UFO wave in Portland, Oregon and the surrounding area, to the remarkable photographs snapped by Dr. William Rhodes in Phoenix, Arizona, to the infamous crash at Roswell, New Mexico, and the intense effort by the Army Air Force to keep the evidence of it hidden, the flying saucers were only getting started. But the questions still remain. If these experiences were not natural phenomena, not products of the United States military-industrial complex, or a communist plot to sow chaos in America, then what or who were they? Is it possible that an extraterrestrial civilization spotting the effects of our nuclear weapons, realizing that we had split the atom, came to investigate whether this small planet was of any interest? Or had they been there all along, monitoring our progress and waiting for the opportunity to reveal themselves openly? Was theirs a mission of peaceful contact met not with openness and goodwill, but with the suspicion, hostility, and brutality of a military confronted by forces beyond its control. What happened next? And where did they go? What is the truth? And where is it to be found? Fascinating questions that may only be solved by further exploration and an open mind. Be certain to comment below if you would like to see a more in-depth exploration of any of the cases presented here today, and be certain to stay tuned to PNT for more details on this remarkable chain of events in the next episode of Hidden UFO History. Stay tuned, because we're just getting started. That's it for this time, faithful viewers. Be sure to click like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when PNT presents your next portion of the paranormal. I'm your host, reminding you to keep an open mind, because a closed one shuts out the truth. <laughs>